Hey guys, welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and today we start a brand new Let's Play, and that is, of course, Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse. If this is your first time here on Yak Wax Lips, this is the kind of thing that I do. I celebrate point and click adventure games old and new. I play them, I review them, I tell you about news, stuff like that. So if you love to point and click as much as I do, please make sure that you smash that like, hit subscribe for more, and turn on the bell because I make loads of adventure game videos. So those new to the channel, this is the fifth Broken Sword game, obviously, but I have been running through the entire series from 1, 2, 2.5, 3, 4, and now finally 5. So uh, if you haven't seen those playthroughs, then head on back and watch all of those. The way that I do my Let's Plays is I tend to do about 22-minute videos, so you can sit and watch whilst you're uh, eating your lunch or something like that. And um, yeah, make yourself known in the comments. Say hello, say good luck, say this is brilliant, this is rubbish, tell me about it, but don't give me any spoilers, of course. And um, yeah, like I say, no spoilers in the, in the comments unless I ask, and I probably will ask several times because I will want to get you guys involved. Right, let's click on new game, and let's get on with the final asterisk, Broken Sword 5, yes, because there is a new one coming. Let's go. Right, if you've not played Point and Click Adventure before, I mean, the last two Broken Swords weren't. Um, would you like to go to... No, start a new game. I don't want to run a tutorial. Start episode 2. No, start a new game. Let's go. Da -da, classic. Oh, shivers down the spine. I won't talk over the intro now. Let's enjoy it. Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly. Shabir, the painting. The malediction. This way. Signora, it is too late. Go. Signor, in here. Search them. Of course. Paris in the spring. Passion, romance, l'amour. I was working in art insurance. It paid the rent, just about. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, George. We should catch up. Let's have lunch. Nobody move! Mm. 
Non, monsieur. Note la malédiction. Oh. Stay back. Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about to be drawn into a new and terrifying adventure together. The gallery owner was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. The cops would be here soon. I didn't have much time. I feel like we're in. We are in. There's the cursor. Oh, my word. Look at that point and clicky goodness. Uh, that was a great intro. Really enjoyed that. It reminded me of um, Yesterday from Pendulo. But yeah, really good. Um, I also think this guy over here. Oh, I clicked. It's from the second game. Am I right? Anyway, let's uh, let's search Henry's body. Last rights to the gallery owner. I didn't want to interfere. Okay. Let me know about the um the the uh, how loud it is as well because the the settings seem a little bit quiet. But we'll just we'll just see how it is for the first episode. Excuse me, father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? I am a Dominican priest. I know these things. And now, excuse me, I must pray. One minute I'd been planning dinner with Nico, the next I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. I guess we, I guess we can search the body now. Oh, Simeon. Um, I'll have a look at a briefcase in a minute. Let's look at Henry's body. Oh, okay. Body, glasses. He definitely glasses. looked better. <laughs> I put the glasses back where they were. Best to leave the evidence the way I found it. Yeah, no, you've already done it, George. You might as well put it back. Disturbing evidence. You're good at that. Let's check the body. Oh, what's that? Gunshot. Wound. I didn't want Henri's blood on my hands. Okay. Oh, there's something there. Out of the toilet. Henri's pocket was a tiny bottle. It was a bottle of bread. The label claimed it would wake the beast within. <laughs> Already we're stealing from the dead. Why are we five minutes in? Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy, Henry. Guess that's how to pay. Gone tomorrow. I want to take it off. I decided that? to let Henri's toupee rest in peace. Yeah, now I'm gonna put it on. Make him look. Make him look half decent. What's that? There was a mate? small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. Take it. It was too intriguing not to take a look. Yes. It read, 2:30 p.m. Be ready. Innocent enough, until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I quickly replaced the note. Okay, anything else on the body? Before we have a look around. No, I think we're good. A cryptic note in a bottle of overpowering cologne. No personal effects or anything else of substance. I needed to find where he kept his records. Okay, let's investigate this place. Can I have a look at all the paintings? Okay, we can't have a look at all the paintings. Some of them. Oh, I can, I can use that painting. The Ooh. alarm still worked on that painting. Ah, I wondered so that, why the stolen paintings alarm hadn't sounded. That's what I'm wondering as well. The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Pizza. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. The you guy hungry, must George? have been hungry. There was only one slice left. Okay, can you eat it? Yes. Are you gonna? Of course. <laughs> That's George all over. Take that pizza, knock the box over, just leave it there and shrug. Um, let's have a look, see what we have in here. Phone, I just saw pizza. Oh, I hope there's no hacking stuff. Okay, I can call these people. Rick and back. I don't know who that is. Um, let's just continue to investigate it was Hector Lane France's greatest art critic 
We'd met before. Yeah. It hadn't ended well. We pushed him into a... Uh, For a moment, thing. I thought he was dead. But from the snoring, I guessed he'd only fainted. Okay, can we search him? Jacket, yeah. Nail clippers. In the pocket was a pair of nail clippers. They were monogrammed with the letters HL. I mean, I'm questioning the reasons already. Why would we Lane steal nail clippers? Cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. Um, what do we have? Where's our inventory? Oh, our inventory. No, that's not. That's save stuff. Achievements. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's in here, isn't it? Let's use that on him. Time to awaken the yeah. beast. <coughs> what? <coughs> now we can talk to Lane. Was it Lane? <laughs> what was that? It smells like... Like the 70s. <laughs> Where am I? You fainted. Okay. Oh, that's it. Let's just chat to Lane. Welcome back to the land of the living. I wouldn't exactly call this living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. I guess we have to get him something to eat. Well, let's go investigate the rest of this shop. It's a pretty small shop, so I imagine that it won't take long. Okay, something is uh, not plugged in over here. Right. This was where the stolen painting had hung. Why that painting? And why kill for it? Exactly. The oh, okay. The painting had an alarm, which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it hadn't. Well, let's have a look. What's that? Pressure pad? They're all pressure pads. Test. Should we test it? Okay, so that does work. So, the alarm wasn't broken. I suspected foul play. Okay, what's this door? I have no idea. Cut what? Oh, the wire's cut. So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been cut by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. This was an inside job. Okay. Oh my god, it's a mirage. Brilliant. All right, let's go. What happens if the I pressure that? pad appeared to be working fine. Okay. But the cut wire had ensured that the alarm wouldn't sound when the painting was removed. Let's leave the scene of the crime. And have a look at what this is. Any paintings? Right, let's see if we can just open this door. I've got a feeling it's going to be locked. A big the door lock was there. locked with a keypad. Yeah, okay. The wires from the camera ran into the room behind. It must have captured the whole robbery. We need to get in that if door. If I could get the code to the keypad, I might be able to shed some light on the crime. Um, can I have a look at it? I still needed to figure no. out the code to that keypad. What do we have? No clippers. Yeah, none of that's going to help. Um, I think I feel like I'm going to talk to this chap again. Father? Yeah. Oh, I've just remembered I got pizza. I'll give yes, you the pizza. My son. Yeah, anyway, let's. Oh, we've got a lot to talk about. Can we ask him anything? Oh, I hope we can ask him everything about anything. That's the best thing about Broken Sword 1. You can ask him about everything. In fact, I think I've got a video showing George Sobart everyone a dirty tissue. I'll link it somewhere. What did you mean when you said that a great evil had taken place? Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. What? Yeah, what? Peter 5-8. The devil is all around, Mr. Stobart. Did Henri say anything before he died? He said, Stop the car. I want to get in. Um, what does that mean? We may never know. I think he's an inside job guy. What brought you to the exhibition, Father? The painting. Which one? La Maledictio, of course. The painting that was stolen? I had to confront the evil. Oh, what is the evil? Okay, so once you've gone over those conversations, they've disappeared, which is good. 
I think there's something strange going on here. Yes, Mr. Stobart. At last you see the truth. No, Father. I mean that the robbery looks like an inside job. The devil's work is always an inside <laughs> job. A wire in the painting's alarm was deliberately cut. Why are you telling me this? Cut by the devil himself, perhaps. Well, as far as I know, sightings of guys with horns and tails have been a little down recently. You mock me, Mr. Stobart. But as you will discover, the devil likes to have the last laugh. Okay, does he know Do the key? Do you know the code number? to get into the office? No. But you could always pray and ask for divine guidance. With respect, Father, I'm looking for a slightly quicker solution. Yeah, it's good. there's going to be some paperwork somewhere, isn't there? What do you know about the man who painted La Maledizio? El Serp. He was a man playing with fire. The fire of eternal damnation. Tell me about the stolen painting. Whoever gets close to it will burn in hell. Oh, that's not very nice. Should we ask him about these things? I mean, we hey, might father, as well. How about a squirt? <laughs> I think not. Do you recognize these? Nail clippers. <laughs> I'm not sure what your point is. Yeah, or me. Would you like this piece of pizza? A man has just died. <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, has anyone called the police at this point? Right, I'm going to give this pizza to to this chap. No, Excuse no, no. Oh, me, yeah. Mr. Thought Lane. Going to go out the door. Food. My nerves demand food. Okay, let's give you some food. Uh, I guess we just click. I that. found a slice yes. of pizza. I asked for food. Oh. But not a cardboard simulation. How are you, man? Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. Ah, now give it good. here. Wow. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now what's been going on? Oh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. Let's talk to him. See Excuse if he knows me. anything. Do I know you? Yes, our paths have crossed in the Glees Gallery. Of course, the man with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. Go for it. Right. Ooh, look at that robber. Did you know the gallery owner? Of course. We worked together on the exhibition. Oh, really? Henri provided the space. I was the creative powerhouse. How long had you known him? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. If Lane was involved with the gallery, then he had to know the code to that door. Right, let's get the code. So, you help run this place? Maybe you can give me the code to that door. The code to the office? I just thought you might have the number. I do, but I couldn't possibly give you access before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. Okay, what can we I do then? To turn the heat up. What could we do? Can we show him? Look, we can steal our nail clippers. We can do anything we want. Are these your nail clippers, Mr. Lane? Yes, they have my initials monogrammed on them. Huh. The perfect implement for cutting the alarm on the stolen painting. What are you saying? Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? I had no reason to kill Henri. No motive whatsoever. Okay, but I don't think the cops will see it like that. 
And I sure would like that door code. Nice one, George. Yeah. Let's How about it, now. Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Oh, come give on. Give me a single reason why I should. Guilty by way of nail clippers. I mean, it's flimsy. I've been away from Paris for several days and only got back this morning. How could I have cut that wire? Hmm, how could he have movements? So let's click on movements. This is an inside job for sure, Mr. Lane. The police are going to be very interested in your recent movements. I've been out of town for several days, and last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. I want to. I was onto something here, and I knew it. Okay. Lane was sweating. Right, down that same... It wasn't pretty. Down that same line of questioning. Come on, How keep about going. It, Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Ah, come on. Give me a single reason why I should. Guilty by way of nail <laughs> Guilty by I've way of nail away from Paris for... All right, click. Um... Let's ask An unusual painting. painting turns up at your exhibition and gets stolen. Doesn't look good, does it? And your point is? The cops are going to ask some awkward questions. But you give me the code to the CCTV room, and I'll do my best to point them elsewhere. I cannot let you oh, into that room, on, Mr. Stobart. Besides, Henri found La Malédiction, not me. I had nothing to do with it. Okay, so that's gone. I hate to say this, Mr. Lane, but you're going to be the number one suspect for this murder. So you keep saying, Mr. Stobart. So you'd been out of town and hit the sack early last night? That's right. I've not been near the gallery for days. Really? Hmm. How about some more of this? I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne, it would be barbaric. <laughs> it would be barbaric. Right, more Guilty nail clippers. Guilty by action. way of nail clippers. Sheer fantasy. What possible motivation could I have to sabotage the alarm? Okay, we've done talking to him. What else? No one had noticed the pizza box fall onto the floor. I decided to leave it alone. <laughs> Can we put the nail clippers under the pizza box? That was almost a great idea. <laughs> almost. Are you mocking me, George Stebart? Um right, let's have a quick look around. Just more pictures and paintings, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Bust. The bust was balanced precariously on the pedestal. Oh, do we I need to? I didn't want to knock it off. I bet you do. I bet you do. Right. One last look over here. Do I have to Oh, that one was is that gonna set the alarm off? Yeah. Another painting with a working alarm. We get the whole alarm thing now, George. We get it. The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. Okay. So we need to we need to frame this guy essentially, don't we? Or oh, I mean, we could leave. Maybe we're not allowed to leave. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I am going to leave it there for today, guys. One thing I would really, really appreciate today, especially because it's episode one, is uh, not just to like the video, because I really appreciate that every every single episode, but drop a comment down, because the more comments, the more um, the more people will, will find this, this Let's Play and, uh, yeah, get to know more about adventure games. So say hello. Tell me what you think. And, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm a bit annoyed that I'm stuck to this room. I would like to investigate more, but that's coming up in the next episode. I tend to do about three episodes a week. So, yeah, it won't be long until you find out. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed today. Please leave that like. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Whatever it is you're doing right now, take care.